Look, when the shit hits the fan, that's where it's come from. Hey? People don't even know it, you know, in the internet they show like a fan like for cooling your face like with the air, but, but that's that's it. The fan and the shit, you know, putting the shit on the land and then it hits a fan and goes in all direction and it smells and you know that that's what it means. The shit hits the fan. All of a sudden, you know, you it all hell breaks loose. Sorry, I got something in my mouth, you know, like sweets. You know, look at this logo here. The G. Freemason G. And there's a downward pyramid in it in Auschwitz, the pyramid of death, even a little one. Why the G? Because it's in between the uh, square and compass. And it says it stands for the number seven, which is the uh, the holy number of the pyramid. Hey look, Hutchinson. Where's the G? There's no G. I told you. They don't put the G because it's in the word. Hutch Hutchinson. There is no G. Why do they put it there? In the Templars colors, red and white. Or the white house and the red house. Right? Now the shit hits the fan again. Yeah, look. With people with the owl like this. It's a Freemason house. It's Minerva. You know, the goddess. And here, a lot of pharaonic symbols here. And it has an octagon in the middle, an octagon. So that means the people are living here. You know, if there's a, if there's like a war coming on, and it is coming on, like a big civil war, you know, they're not gonna touch their house, eh? What's he doing? Three kitties? Uh, it has a V. Apparently in this village there was a Pope living here. Uh, so I've been doing like this, you know, for centuries and centuries. So this is in fact Santa Claus. Because this is the village where Santa Claus was born. Uh, Saint Nicholas who became the Pope, apparently. Yeah, look, this is the crest of the... Oh, it's difficult to see, eh? Of the Mayor's office. There's a big cross in it. For the... Uh, for the concept of four. So it says the square, and there are four squares in it. And there are three circles for the concept of three in the circle. Uh, stands for the compass. So it says square and compass and the concept of four and three. It's all there, you know, look. It's all there. Well, my LCD screen is uh, is gone. I can't see nothing anymore. Like. Yeah. So that's the mayor's office of a little town here, like. Yeah. Now that says, you know, liberty, uh, equality, fraternity, not for us, but the masters. And the masters are here with their square and compass, you know, crests and logos. Oh, my screen is gone, eh? I think this is octagonal here. Yeah. Of course it is. 1876, that's the first year, it didn't belong to Switzerland anymore here, this is in France. 1875, uh, it got back to France here. This is really like Switzerland here. Now that's also a nice logo. Yeah, there's a lot of squares for people, there must be, oh yeah, there. Nah. A lot of squares, no compass. Ah, now I see it. First of all, it's a checkerboard configuration, you know, in red, the original color. The other one should be white, but they did it black here. On one side, there's four cubes or squares for the concept of four, which is us, the people. And now the other side, you see three and one is being taken away, the black one. So that means the concept of three is taking the uh, things away from the people, like the fourth cube is being taken away, like through Texas. 
So it does say square and compass. I knew there was something and there is always something. So, yeah. Nice little village, a lot of mountains behind it. Nice. Oh, look, this is a nice one. He says he's uh, in, in the order of the architects here. What did I say, you know? A compass, a circle, and, a, and the, uh, the pyramid. Or the, the thing with the D, which I can't pronounce at the moment, you know? The fourth letter, or, and it says it's in a square, of course. So this one is the concept of three, and the concept of four says square and compass. You know? So. You know. So this is where I've been living and uh, working for the last two months. Yeah. And uh, this is a French book here. And look at this here, the logo of the enterprise of the company. You see, there's uh, four, supposed to be four quarter circles, and there's one out, so there are three left in white. Of course, it's white, red and white for the Templars colors, or Switzerland, or the house, the white house and the red house, the Per Tasser and the Per Het, of Pharaoh. And so there are three left, which is the concept of three, and altogether it's the concept of four. And also the square is the cons is the um, stands for the uh, for the square, as in square and compass. And in white it's a circle, or half a circle. And that part of a circle, you know, you can do that with a compass. So it definitely says square and compass. And then there's a horizontal line in the middle for the uh, new world order horizontal rule instead of the old vertical rule. So it says it all in a, in a simple logo of an enterprise, of a company, uh, entreprise, it's in French, um, because everything belongs to them. You know, you're just a slave, you know, and they tell you, oh, life is, we are so free, you know, listen to the music and go jogging and also in red and white, of course. Beautiful, what a fine democracy, and you know. And so here we see the slaves and Pharaoh. There's Pharaoh. And there's the slave. It's already the, uh, the, the mixed race, uh, you know, like... Um, I mean, look at the color of the skin. It's already the, the the one race, one world order, one pharaoh, the mixed race. You know, as you can see. Uh, yeah. Okay, pharaoh. Better not dig too deep into it, otherwise, you know, it's already forbidden. You know. Okay. Our masters. You know, even here, this is baklava, some oriental stuff. And here's a square and a circle in it. A square for the, uh, for the square and a circle for the compass. So every one of them in the Middle East of those Freemasons, they all read square and compass. Uh, in black and white. And around it is an octagon. So the octagon, the military arm, it's protecting the Freemasons. Yeah. That's what it says. And all around, you know, it's a nice configuration, you know, here with flowers and all that and leaves. And then all of this, all of a sudden, all, you know, like this in the middle of it, you know, which, which doesn't fit with the nice flowers, does it now? Because it has a totally different sense. You know. Square and compass. But the baklava is nice, like it. Yeah, I got some books sent to me by, um, this is about uh, Macduff, uh, by uh, his son John O'Laughlin. Look, cost $40 to send it. 
It's a lot of money, eh? You know why? Because of Mr. Trump. It's not the um, the, uh, the the porto, you know, uh, for uh, what you have to pay to the post, you know, for the package. No, it's um, it's import tax. Because what did he do, Mr. Trump? As he is a uh, a businessman, uh, you know, he's just looking for a quick, simple solution for things to curb up the um, the U.S. economy and not having everything imported from China and the European community and from Asia. Uh, he put a um, probably 200% import tax on everything, especially the things from China and the European community. So <clears throat> what did the European community do? Well, they did the same thing. They say, OK, America, if you do that with us, we'll do the same thing with you. So everything, uh, because, you know, so that means, you know, the Europeans can't export anything anymore to the US, but the US uh, can export things to, to Europe without any taxes. So the, Euro the European Communion, they also put taxes on it. So it bas basically came back to the same thing, you know, the US asking import taxes, so there will be less import from Europe and China and uh, other countries are doing the same so there will be less export from the US to other countries so it all comes back to the same thing you know it's all but who's gonna pay finally that's us simple people we're gonna pay you know so this is how the authorities and Trump and the whole the whole all these politics gangsters how they finally they win and and get our money anyway this is how they do it you know, it's always the same. This is what Trump did, you know. And, uh, you know, in the beginning it sounds nice, you know. Uh, uh, import taxes, so to curb the, to curb up the, uh, the US economy. But there will be a response, and then it will all back, back to usual, and even worse. And that's exactly what we saw. He just, he just did a, a quick gangster solution, you know, for a problem, you know, to... To get his voters back, you know, that's what it's all about, right? It's all a lie. Everything is a lie. Just for three books, $40. Amazing. And these were the other books about the Phoenix program. There was a program to destroy Vietnam through biological warfare. And other, Agent Orange, TDY. Um... Temporary Duty Yonder and Macduff here. Yeah. Well, just uh, to send a couple of books, $40. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Hey, you steal of us, hey? And there was, this is also a way how the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Uh, and Trump cal cal calculated all this. So he stabbed you in the back, Americans. Don't you see it? Look, this is a jar of tahin made of sesame yeah look what do you think they put the e the eye in red like this why so you see it you know they want to accentuate it so that means red is the old world's order the pertasse the red house of pharaoh which is a vertical rule or was a vertical rule that's what it says why the M? You know, there's a Templar V in it. Why, why they put it like this? And here too, the N. It all has a reason. Right? Yeah, look, I was just looking at some publicity here. Grand Est, which is the east of France. With the uh, provinces Alsace, Champagne, Ardennes, Lorraine. They all they all put it in one. So, why did they put the E like this? Eh? They didn't do this with the other letters. So, it's one vertical line and three horizontal lines. And uh, so, the three horizontal lines, it says the concept of three. And together with the other one, there's also the concept of four. 
they do this a lot you know like accentuating three and four so it says here square and compass they all see it and they talk about Europe uh, it says in French l'Europe s'invente chez nous Europe is being invented <laughs> with us or at us here this is another one here why do they put the L you know it says triple X so that's the concept of three and the concept of three is the um, uh, it stands for the uh, the compass so they also put the uh, the square here and that's why they put the L in black so it says square and compass it's everywhere people really it's, it's everywhere now this one here why do they put a red square here oh wh why so it says the square so where's the compass must be here somewhere oh, I can't see it but there's a reason you know you don't put a square like this now here we already know this one here Leclerc it's a, it has a, the L is the square and the circle is the uh, the compass and it has a sun in behind but they also have a um, you know for for the builders you know they got this one here Brico and it has a sun in the middle and why 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 there's an opening in this I suppose it's a little house well otherwise you wouldn't see the square you know right side down. You know, to, it's to accentuate the square and all around it there's a circle for the compass Brico square and compass well, this one here bijou it means uh, jewelry it's from also by Leclerc apparently it has a big M in it for master mason I see a horizontal line for the horizontal rule. There's a circle because that's them, you know, jewelry. It's the concept of three. But I don't see a square. But anyway, there's the M for Mason. And there's a circle. But anyway, the circle is the concept of three, which is them. So jewelry, that's, well, it's more for them. It's not really... Well, nowadays people can afford a little something. Yeah, look, the Freemason G. And the concept of three of the horizontal rule. The concept of three is them, our masters, and the horizontal rule is their new system. Eh? In blue and white and gold, like the capstone. There's no red. Well, I mean, the concept of three is already the red, eh? Uh, the old world order but this is horizontal but the concept of three is red so that was the uh, the place Champlit with the castle with all the slaves in front of it Champlit You see why? Why do you think they make a logo with a square and a circle, eh? In the templest colors, red and white. And maybe the circle is blue, I can't see it from here. So the square is the square, and the circle is the compass. And they can all read square and compass. You know, here, stop, templest colors, octagon. The downward pyramid, like in, in Auschwitz, red for the political prisoners. It's the pyramid of death, together with the octagon here. Uh, it's everywhere. Here, there's an oval. The oval office. What does it say here? Uh, Looks like two ovals, like, or the, like a, and me. Yeah, look at this logo. 
there are three squares, three in black, three for the uh, the concept of three for the compass. And this square stands for the square. So it says, or, or the um, the concept of four. So it says square and compass. And then there's a, a fourth square in white, which is you know all together all the squares is the uh, the concept of uh, four. Or you might all also say the three black squares together with the circle. Uh, and then there are four things, which is also the concept of four. And the circle in itself is the concept of three. So in in more than one way, it says square and compass. See. And uh, there's red and white in it for the Templars' colours. And you know everything belongs to them. So it says you know, square and compass to the ones who are initiated. This is a, a, a package of a watch. So probably related to Switzerland because the whole thing looks like a Swiss cross, you know. The same form. Action. Well, it needs action against them. That's what it needs, eh? Guaranteed action. Now look, there's a water bottle from Germany. Look here. You see the squares and the triangles. The squares, the concept of four, and the triangle, the concept of three. And it's in the Templar's colours, red and white, or the Pharaonic colours of the White House and the Red House. It says classic. <laughs> well, that's classic, ain't it? Uh, yeah, look at this one. <laughs> Why did they put the two squares down there, eh? And the two triangles on top. Same thing, people. It's all over. Eh? And there's a little arrow. Mm. Could say like from the old world order concept of three to the new world order the concept of four. Eh? Uh, no, the um, uh, I'm wrong. The uh, the nobility the concept of three and the people the concept of four. Excuse me. The old world order and the new world order are the colours. Um, red, but that's also the nobility, and white for the new world order. And the um, the per het classic. Well, that's why it's written in red or in the red on the ground, but because classic is the old world's order. So here you see these plastic coins to put in a supermarket card. Um, and this is from the supermarket Lidl. And in the middle you see circle which stands for the compass because with a compass you can make a you can draw a circle and around it is a square for the square and compass so everybody who is initiated they all read square and compass and also like the dot on the eye it's also no it's a circle here and the eye itself is like a little square, so even that it says square and circle. And they they have put the the eye a little bit on its side, you know, so so you know, so you all look at that in you know because it's a bit different, you know, it, it gets the attention like that there must be something hidden there. So this is for the uh the supermarket cart, eh? Instead of putting your coins in it, it's like this. It's everywhere. The other side is nothing. Here it says square and circle. Square and compass. Of course everything belongs to our masters. Covid! Uh -huh. It's a garbage can. Put the COVID into the garbage can together with all the other lies. It's the first weapon is the lie.
Zo'n zak, even een kleine kin nog en alles. Zo'n zakken. So I got this tent from an Israeli friend, Ziv. <clears throat> I showed you some text he wrote. Uh, he sent it to me. It's a really nice tent. A, uh, a snug pack. Thank you, Ziv. Toda. Uh, the problem is, I had all the time, you know, like the arches were breaking in my t of my tents. You know, there's so many little pharaohs who want to make a product and sell it to us, and it, it just isn't good all the time, you know. This, and um, I, I like this one because it's all it's all together, you know, the inner tent, like here, and the outer tent. So you can put it up, everything together. And um, so if it's raining and you have to put it up, you know, it doesn't get all wet in, t in, in your tent. So this is an expensive tent, so uh, thanks to my Israeli friend. <clears throat> And uh, so they, they make a lot of rubbish nowadays, you know, just, just to sell it, you know. All these little pharaohs, instead of making a good product, they just want to do their businesses. Because all the businesses, it all belongs to pharaoh, to the nobility, and we are their slaves, you know. And this is my old Bergen. Have you ever seen a Bergen like this? You know, it's all, everything is broken. Here. Here. Yeah. And this is good material you know, so it needs quite a lot you know to to break it all right it's March 2022 I'm here in a sort of a Canadian sort of a um, hut here and I have to repair repair my uh, Bergen look at this I, I, I just saw this this morning that, you know, this didn't really bother me very much here and here. But then I saw it's like falling apart here, you know. This here. All this. Yeah. So what's happening, you know, my, uh, the, these ones here, which is going over my shoulders, they're attached on this one here. And if this all tears off. You know, it, it will fall apart. You know, I've got a tremendous weight on it, so I'm sewing it like uh, through here. So I got here, you know, through some fans of my uh, videos. And um, so I hope, I hope I can go on tomorrow, uh, today, with making videos for you. So. I'm here in France, in Burgundy. Oh, it's quite nice, but it's a bit cold and damp, you know. Yeah. So. Nice people, though. They're doing like biological um, veggies. Yeah. And I had to shit in here. Huh? Well, I didn't. I, I went into the meadows. Like, no. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> so here it is again, the uh, the logo I've seen on the motorway all the time. You see the three bars for the concept of three, and here is a square. There are two times a square, one in blue and one in white. So it says, and the square is the concept of four. So for all initiated ones, it says the square and compass. And it's like a cube, the whole thing is like a cube. They know exactly what they're doing. And everything belongs to the nobility people. <clears throat> so this is the French police here, Picole Nationale, Stagiaire. Uh, the guy was probably 20 years in the police. No, people, this is a joke. <laughs> Picole Nationale. Normally it says Police Nationale in France. And it means Picole, it means a boozer, a wino. <laughs> so it's, an, it's a nice joke. Oh, I really like that. And here it says to stagiaire. <laughs> Picole Nationale. Right. <laughs> A vos ordres, monsieur. <laughs> Hola, come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 